What is up you guys, Matt here, Mr. Matt Darnell, and here in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can get the Aurora dashboard on your JTAG, our JTAG, a reset glitch hack, Xbox 360. Alrighty guys, so we're going to need a flash drive, or you can FTP to do this, uh, depends on how you want to do it. I'll be showing you guys how to do this with a flash drive, you can do this with FTP as well, I'm not going to show you guys how to do that, there will be a link in the description below on how to FTP if you want to do that or you can use your Xbox 360 neighborhood if you want to. Alrighty guys, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and download this file. There will be a link in the description below. It will be a zip file. You'll get this folder here, and you'll notice that we have all these files in here. We can go ahead and close this out. And we want to go to our flash drive here, and we just want to drag this onto our flash drive. We'll go ahead and wait for it to copy. And once it's copied here, you'll notice that we have this folder here, like so. We can go ahead and unplug our flash drive from our computer and go ahead and plug it up to our reset glitch hacked or JTAGged or our JTAG Xbox 360. I'll see you guys on the Xbox. Alrighty guys, once we're in our JTAG to reset glitch hack Xbox 360 here. As you guys can see, I'm in freestyle dash, uh, like so here. I'm going to show you guys how you can get the Aurora dashboard here. Alrighty guys, so you want to go to your file manager. You can do this with XEX menu as well. Uh, you don't need freestyle to do this. To do this, uh, You can use XEX menu. Uh, you want to go to your USB here, Aurora, right there. You want to go to your hard drive. And you just want to copy your Aurora folder over. As you can see, I already have that copied. And I'll go ahead and show you guys how you can do that in XEX menu. So to do that in XEX menu, you just want to go ahead and load up XEX menu. Once we have XEX menu loaded up here, you just want to go RB. And you want to press X. Go to your USB drive here. Go to your Aurora, go ahead and press Y, copy, and paste it onto your hard drive here. As you can see, I already have that folder right there. Once we have that done, we can go ahead and load up Aurora here. We'll go to Aurora.xex. And as you can see right here, it's already detected some of the games I have installed. Not all of them, however. Go into settings here, and you can see we have Xbox Unity in here instead of the uh, JQE 360. We have Xbox Unity. We can choose our marketplace, all that good stuff. Go ahead and press download here, and we'll see if it will download those. Not sure if it will. We have our FTP there, Web UI, Xbox Marketplace, Unity, content scanning, plugins all that good stuff. As you can see, if we go to about right here, we can download updates. As of now, the current version is 0.5 beta. However, there will be future versions out as Aurora is still in development, uh, unlike Freestyle Dash. Uh, this is more or less a replacement for Freestyle Dash. However, I still believe that uh, Aurora is far better in certain aspects. As you can see right here, it's downloading some covers for us, uh, like so. I probably won't get all the covers, but we'll get most of them here. Automatically did that. Didn't even have to uh, configure anything out of box. Uh, something I like better than Freestyle Dash. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, to get this to boot on default, you would do the same settings in Dash Launch that you would for Freestyle. However, however instead of choosing Freestyle Dash, you would choose your Aurora.xex file. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hope it helped you out. In future videos, I'll be showing you guys more stuff in Aurora, along with Freestyle Dash, and I'll be showing you guys Xbox 360 Neighborhood in the future as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope to see you guys back. Till next time, guys. I'll see you later.